Good morning to you all and welcome to the channel. Hope that you guys are having a great day. Today we are meeting up with everybody's favorite next door neighbor, Rich. He's over there. Uh, he's not uh, He's not up yet, uh, but we'll be meeting up with him going down to Whitmore, which should be great. Before we do that, I do want to say that we got about, depending on when this upload goes live, we got about 10 days left. Uh, for the 2019 Grand Sport giveaway. So in about 10 days, one of you is going to be owning and driving this car. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Don't miss out. If you have not entered already, definitely do so. InChainDesigns.com, every five bucks spent is an entry to win the car. So if you get a key tag for 10 bucks, that's two entries. If you get a shirt, uh, a poster, whatever, every $5 is its own entry. So you can have a lot of entries to win. And the chances are pretty good. If you haven't seen any of the previous uploads on the car, it's a really highly optioned vehicle got about 80 grand for the MSRP by itself and then of course you get the wrap and the course exhaust all that stuff it's got the front camera system heated and cooled seats comp seats Alcantara inserts we did the Z06 clear taillights as well and like I mentioned that beautiful course exhaust which sounds as good as it looks don't miss out don't miss your chance check out the website in every five bucks spent is an entry this is gonna be you in 10 days Good day here in Pennsylvania. And here's what I gotta say. And you know what? <laughs> if it's on a coffee mug, it's the truth. It's, Everybody it's the truth. Knows that. Now, Rich, I gotta ask. You have a really nice garage. Why do you also need a car cover? It, pollen, dust. How's the pollen and dust gonna get it, inside it, of the garage? It travels, it goes all over. <laughs> hey, nice poster. Here's, here's the way you take the covers off. Here it goes. You take this off like this and you fold it so that you've got it workable to the center, like that. Watch, I'll show you this. <laughs> you always roll it from the front, and here's why, I'll show you. You roll it this way, uh huh. and then your Corvette is clean, not dusty, not dirty, ready to go. Oh, so it rolls the dust off it backwards. Dust I off backwards. I get that. I and, see that. And I see the logic. You Corvette, when you buy one of these covers, they give you a Corvette. Nice little bag. bag. Yeah. You put it in the bag. You put the cover in the bag in the garage. In the garage. And that you do it this way. Mm-hmm. This is the back, so that when you go to unroll it, you go like that. And it falls over the front. And it falls over the front, and you're ready to unfold it. And start all over again. That does make perfect sense. Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, it's the way to do it. It's sweet. And we got, don't worry guys, we got Rich all hooked up with Expel. His car is Expelled. He says he loves it. First car with it, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's awesome. I definitely had to hook him up with that. 243 miles. <laughs> That's less than I thought. I thought you had 280 on it. <laughs> well, by the end of today, for sure. Oh, we, oh, we might be over 300. Yeah, better, we might. I better know. park it and relax it for a couple weeks. I, I know. It's scary. <laughs> Manual, like, oh my, I would love to be driving that right now. And, and you know what, too? I would I, love to be. It, it is it is really sweet, and, I, oh, yeah. and I do love it. There's no question about it. But you know what? This has more traction control modes than I thought. Like, it I does. thought it just had, like, um, a touring, which quiets the thing down uh -huh. and, you know, makes the suspension a little less. But it also has an... In economy yeah it's got eco and weather and yep. weather and then the weather has like different like traction control things just got done asking <laughs> what is the fastest you've driven it and it was with me on the way home <laughs> so you're yeah. saying i peer pressured you to go over 100 and you didn't know it you I mean, did 100 yeah you had you had the uh the uh, grand sport giveaway and uh boy i'll tell you yeah, that was kicking butt no moving. we were and doing like 55 and, if that yeah, right uh, and then we went to mexico and then in Mexico, we were doing like a little yeah. over 100. But I mean, you can go over 100 so fast in these cars. It, oh my God, yeah. It's just, it's not even a question. Grand Sport with chrome wheels and oh, about yeah. 75 other ones. Wow. Somebody buy some vets from Whitwire. Matt needs to sell some <laughs> vets. Well, that was a great drive, buddy. That was fun. That was awesome. That was only the beginning. Oh, just... yeah, you need to get over a thousand miles so we can let this thing rip. Look at that color and the chrome, the way the chrome accents the red. Let's go hunting. There he is. There he is. There's What's up, dude? Sorry, sir. I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah. Top's down? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Enjoying man. it? Oh, yeah. Oh, top is You'll... down, buddy. Yeah, we were enjoying it is right. 
<laughs> How awesome. Beaver will sell you a C7 vet for next to nothing. They actually Very lose funny. money on every Corvette. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a good strategy because the more C8s, more C7s you sell, the more C8s you'll get. That's right. So right now we're just in the C8 game. Finally taking deposits as of today. Oh, well, that's solid. right. Yeah. Uh, well, that's why I'm here. So. Oh, let's do it. Beaver's over here showing Rich how to do the comfort entry and exit for the Corvette. So like when you get in, it makes it easier to get in and out. It puts the seat all the way back and the wheel all the way up. But he's got a lot of Corvettes I wanted to mention for you. You got a ton of Corvettes. <laughs> Loves it. Right now, the only thing we're really, obviously we're giving super crazy deals on C7s. Yeah. But the big thing for us is now that C8 has been acknowledged and uh, the release will be July, we got to focus on getting as many allocations for C8 as possible. So the more C7s you more sell. The more C7s you sell, the more C8s you'll get. And quite honestly, today we just released, we're doing our list. And we're gonna be the only, probably only dealer doing uh, supplier and employee pricing. Nobody else is gonna discount C8s but us. Go orange ZL1 over there too. Yeah. Somebody should buy that. That's a cool color on that we're, car. We're giving that away too. This'll be, this'll be a nice daily for me. Yeah. I appreciate it. And it's tinted. <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's got my mods, like those wheels, man. It just whoever put those on. Uh, I mean, to each his own. Those are bad. I'm gonna put some cool wheels on and I'll bring it back. <laughs> okay. Kayaks <laughs> yet? No, I'm gonna buy some. I can use this truck to buy kayaks. Are you? Maybe I will. You gotta promise, babe. All right, I'll get some kayaks. All right, because we gotta go, go, dude. Dude, Dick right. has a ton of them. Uh, okay, uh, are they good? All right. She wants to go so bad. All right, I'll get, I promise I'll get yeah. some. And you're doing employee pricing and supplier pricing on C8s, right? Pre purchase only. Pre purchase. Pre purchase. Got Pre it. Only employee supplier. Got it. And you're taking deposits as of today. Today. Thousand bucks, give me a call. Got it. All right, see you, buddy. So you heard what the man said. Beaver is doing deposits on the C8 Corvette right now. If you want one, check out Whitmore. Give him a call. They'll take care of you. And they're honoring employee pricing and supplier pricing on the C8. Which is another reason why I was here. You already know I put down a deposit on the C8. So if you want a C8 Corvette, you want to be on the list to get one first, check them out. Like I said, just give him a call. I'll put a link down below. The C8 is going to be a really, really hot car, as you would expect. Uh, and we want to blow it up at Whitmore. We want to be the number one, not we, but Beaver, and with my, hopefully with my help, we want to make Whitmore the number one C8 Corvette sell. Right, so uh, if you watched last night's upload, you'll know that I had to quit on the Blazer teardown because uh, Steve needed my help. What else is new, a Ford breaking down. But here's where, here's how far I got. Um, so after I was filming, I couldn't help myself. I went out at nighttime and I didn't film it because like it just, the, the lighting is terrible. But I got a lot done. I got both of the front seats out, got the back seat completely out. I'm pretty sure that was in uh, the video from last night. Got the full carpet out, floor mats out. So it's coming along really well. And the Blazer is pretty much stripped. At this point, we got everything out of the Blazer. And uh, by far the number one comment on the video was to like truck bed the floor. And that's exactly what I was going to do. So I'm going to clean this up and then we'll put a truck bed coating on it. And that way it will be protected. It will look really cool. And we don't have to worry about it flooding again. Because if it does, it's no big deal. And look how freaking high. I got water in here yet. Is that an old like starburst? Oh boy, or bubble gum, that's great. Uh, but you can see we had water all the way up in the truck to get into this pocket, which is insane. I mean, we had so so much water in here. It was awesome. Let's go ahead and wipe this puppy down and uh, we'll get to coating. I wanna move the truck real quick because I planted some grass underneath it and I want the grass to get sun. And this is gonna be a little bit, little bit weird to drive this. So I think the best route is to go like, all right, we'll, we'll just let it idle forward. You know what, that, that should work. We're not going anywhere. This is safe. This would be safe to drive like this. I really did plant some grass though. I was not lying about that. All right, boys, starting the wipe down cleanup process.
I was debating on whether or not I wanted to put all the bolts back in and I wasn't gonna do it but then I thought and this might sound kind of stupid but I figured you know what why why not you know I, I have the bolts I might as well use them but I thought you know maybe for like carbon monoxide purposes I should just have no leaks because my exhaust is like right down there so I figured I might as well use them maybe that's stupid but whatever <laughs> truck bed coating is going on i'm really excited to see how this is going to look not the best prep job in the world i didn't even sand it which i was going to but then i was like you know what that's a lot of work let's just uh let's just dive right on in Ooh, that looks nice Ooh, very nice oh yeah that is gonna look freaking sick and we're gonna see it all the time because uh we're not putting a carpet or anything back in so we're gonna get to see our good work every time we get in the truck One can down and I have to say this is going really really well like I'm not sure if it's gonna look that great on camera but I mean it looks really really good it looks freaking badass and uh, it's definitely gonna protect the truck now the cool thing is to me if you did this carefully you could do this on like a new truck and one that you really cared about you know I'm just kind of like going <laughs> I'm just kind of going crazy with it. I just rip stuff out break stuff but you could do this on a newer truck and you could make the floor basically invincible just got done spraying the back and here you can pretty much see the finished product i think it looks really really good and again like please keep in mind i really was not trying very hard for this project i pretty much just got in and sprayed um but wow you could really make this look incredible if you took your time uh and even not you know i think it looks pretty damn good as it is i'm very excited about it it's really going to protect the truck um, I could already feel like in the parts where it's pretty much dry. It has a really nice like hard textured finish to it um, Which is just awesome. I love it. Love the way it turned out I actually I would have done this a long time ago had I known it was gonna be uh, this easy and this cool So for under about 50 bucks uh, You can make your truck impervious to water. Not really, but it will help. Hey, yep. No carpets I like it. That makes it easier to go hey, in water. Heck yeah, it does. That's my that's my plan anyway I think it's a good idea I got lucky and I didn't break it going through water, so I figure, you know what? I'll just put it right back in. Floor ones with that. Mm -hmm. If you believe in yourself, anything's possible. This is true. Look at that. Yeah, sure can. Beautiful blazer operation there. There you go. I lost my impact underneath this. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like it's much harder to lift than it was before. <laughs> you were you were younger then. Did I have the other bolt? Did I give it to you? you? No, you didn't give it to me. I don't oh, know what God, to make you do with it. I, I thought that was it right there. Yeah, that's it. I'm looking over. I'm thinking, like, dude, what are you doing with that seat? Yes, yes. The rear seat has been taken out. <laughs> I told you, like, call me when you're doing something crazy like that. No, I don't want to get you involved in oh, this. Man. This nobody wants to be involved in this project. <laughs> Everybody wants you to create an Instagram for your Corvette. Yeah. <laughs> you need an Instagram. <laughs> that ain't happening. Why? Yeah. Um, we'll take it one day at a time. <laughs> yeah, Rich is a great guy. Always comes over to help. I never ask for help because I'm I'm not that type of person. Like I, I never I never ask for help. A lot of guys don't. Most guys usually try to like no matter how hard it is, they try to do it themselves. Um, but he always comes over and helps me out. So we got the bench seat back in. I wasn't gonna do it, and then I was like, you know what? Why not put it back in? It you never know when you might need the back seat. And uh, having it folded forward pushes my seat into the right position. If you guys haven't been with the channel for a while, if you haven't been with this build from the start, um, my seat, my driver's seat is totally broken. Um, now I ripped the electrical parts out because who cares, it doesn't matter any anymore anyway. Um, but this doesn't adjust and the motor, and I, I looked at it, I tried to figure out, but I don't, I don't wanna take it apart for fear of it not going together and that I don't have a seat at all because it's really like, really rusty and jacked up and like all bent. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but this seat is stuck in a position that's too far away 
uh, from the pedals for me and two leaned back. It's actually, I shouldn't say that. It's not too far from the pedals. The back, the seat back is too far back. Like it's way too reclined. Uh, it's like I'm half laying down when I'm driving. So if I fold and I couldn't figure out how to like put it back, I can't manually do it because it's whatever happened with the electronics, it's stuck where it is. Um, so with the seat, the back seat, I can fold that forward and that pushes the back of that seat. It forces it to be in the right position. So when I started thinking about it, I just said, you know what? I'll take 10 minutes and put the seats back in. Done deal. All right guys, so it is the next morning and the blazer is all done. I'm happy to report it looks really good. And I'm pretty damn excited about it. Look at that. So the whole floor is coated. Got a really nice textured feel to it. Feels solid, feels good. I even put the floor mats back in. The bench seat is in and we have a nice little uh, truck bed in the back. So this is again, definitely something I would recommend and uh, a pretty cool mod for the Blazer. Now, don't forget, we only got about 10 days left for the 2019 Grand Sport giveaway. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the website, definitely do so, inchaindesigns.com. Every five bucks spent is an entry. And yes, in this upload, besides all the Blazer stuff, I did put a deposit down on a C8 Corvette. Very exciting. I don't really know anything about the car yet. Nobody does. Uh, the official like reveal where it's gonna be shown without camouflage and we should get some details on it is in July, July 18th. Uh, but either way, you know, I'm, I'm a Corvette guy. I gotta at least get one and try it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.